good afternoon it is thursday and i know i didn't vlog a whole whole lot but it was basically shower rinse repeat and even though it was perfect the church services we didn't do a whole lot during the day so then it has choir and that's going to be awesome we are going to get there early because the last night of conferences in any kind of church world or whatever at least in our world is when the most people come because some people only drive down for the last night so yeah that's that and a story to tell you guys about our experience here at the hotel somebody tried to break in our room twice and I'll tell you guys about that later yeah it's been an interesting time and usually at the holiday Inn, we get better service here it's 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 been crazy it's been crazy so yeah I'll tell you guys about that later but for now I am just going to wait my turn to get in the shower Conservative Biblical Values Political Action yeah, Committee, yeah. and she's a member of the San Diego Republican Executive Committee. Just got out the shower and just trying to get ready. But be kind of quiet because the girls are still asleep. 
And yes, I'm washing my face with a hand towel because I just used the last of our towels. Y'all, it has been an interesting week. As far as the church service and all that, perfect, perfect. No complaints there. But we're at the Holiday Inn and we've stayed at the Holiday Inn before throughout the years, different places no issues and when COVID happened a lot of places took away perks like for example Hobby Lobby had a 40% off coupon weekly coupon that you can use and that was a constant thing that went away and Holiday Inn used to have free breakfast with your stay that's no longer included and that happened after um, COVID. You guys can still see the lines from my CPAP. It'll wear off. I'm gonna go grab breakfast, but I just wanted to get ready um, before we go. So that went away, right? And I don't know how much it is per person, but we never pay for it anymore. We just get our breakfast elsewhere because it's cheaper to go to McDonald's or something like that instead of paying for it here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like 20 something dollars. And I'm just putting on, um, it's sunscreen, but it's it's dark correct, it's dark spot correcting, but it has sunscreen in it as well. So that's what I'm putting under my eyes. So that went away, so we didn't get that. And I'm telling you that for a reason. So. We checked in on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we were here during the day. The girls had gotten back. That the day they went to the aquarium? Wednesday, yes. So we locked the doors even when we were in here, put the latch on and lock it. Okay. And then, oh, forgot to use this. Um, so we heard something at the door and I'm thinking, is that the maid or whatever? Or is that housekeeping? And I go look out the peephole and it's a guy with his backpack and you can see his luggage. And I'm like, okay, he probably just has the wrong room. Then he went away. Not even five minutes later, we heard that noise again and like jiggling on the door, like really hard. And so I go look at the, out the peephole and I didn't open the door and I didn't feel any kind of anything that he was trying to get in to hurt us. Although it's good to be safe, I didn't open the door. So I just yelled out, I said, you have the wrong room. And he looked down at the card or whatever they gave him. He said, oh, cause this is the number they gave me. And I'm thinking, well, maybe he's just mistaken or whatever. And yes, I'm wiping this off because I use my sea breeze. Forgot to use that. So, I watched him walk away with his luggage and his backpack, and I'm guessing he's just checking in, whatever, right? So then I called to the office. I said, or office, the front desk. I said, you know, somebody tried to get in our room twice, and I don't know what's going on, but he's saying you guys gave him our room number, whatever. He said, wait a minute, um, they marked you guys as a no-show. We checked in the day before and you took our money, but we're a no-show. So anyway, he put me on hold and said, you know, let me check into this. Put me on hold for quite a long time where I was actually about to go downstairs. And so he came back, he said, I don't know what happened. I let my manager know. And, you know, we reassigned the room to you guys and whatever. And so I said, okay. After I got off the phone, I started thinking, I'm like, how did they think that we weren't here when earlier on that day, we called and asked for um, maintenance because the toilet got stopped up and it wasn't any fault of our own. We didn't, we didn't clog it. It's just after one of us used it, it was just pee, <laughs> went to flush it and it didn't go down. So 
Yeah. And it took them like an hour to get here. And I'm like, that, you know, when we went down to go to service, we're like, that doesn't make sense that you guys marked us, you know, as a no-show. We're in the room and it's kind of scary. Here's a man trying to get in our room. So, oh, for that, you know, we can give you, we can comp you breakfast the whole week for free. Okay, we took it. And then, because housekeeping doesn't come in every day. So yesterday we called and asked for a larger bag for trash because it was piling up because, you know, our food that we had and then we needed more towels. So we called three times within two hours before they finally came. And then when he came, he handed me two towels. I'm like, there's three of us. We need a set of everything. So he went and he got everything. And I was nice. And when I'm telling you guys this, if I sound like I'm having an attitude with, you know, you guys, I'm not. I didn't have an attitude towards them because I don't treat people like that. They are hardworking like we are. So, you know, I just, I just don't. I'm not that type of person. I'm just letting you know up front. <laughs> that was Wednesday. So yeah, so Thursday we needed more towels again, right? Because we just did, and yeah. So housekeeping actually came knock on the door asked, asking us if we needed room service. And I said, no, but can we get a set of towels? And she handed me one towel. I said, no, there's three of us. We need three of everything. So she gives me three, you know, huge towels and she handed it to me and said, no, I said, can I get a hand towel and a the wash rag or whatever? She hands me the hand towels and she said, we're out of um, the smaller ones. Not, no, they're in the laundry, we'll bring it back. Can you call later? None of that. And I said, looked at a cart and I said, what's that right there? I said, can we get some of those? And she looked and she goes, <sighs> and she pulled it off the thing like that to hand me three. And I'm looking, I'm like, Okay, you may not have remembered that it was there or whatever the case may be, but give me them towels. Why are you trying to hold on to them? This has not been a pleasant stay and yeah. Just trying to pack up everything. Can I tell you guys that even though we're in Long Beach, or the convention was in Long Beach, I need to redo my eyebrows. Um, we're staying in Torrance. That's where our hotel is. Uh, and I just have sunscreen lip gloss. Make it pop. Yeah. Y'all know I don't wear makeup, so. And I ain't gonna be seeing it because I don't wear it. So, yeah. Uh, should I do like a full face of and just sunscreen, you guys? Even though I'm gonna be in the car, so put that sunscreen on. Mm. Gotta rub that in real good. Can you imagine if? that guy didn't, um, if we weren't here when the guy came in, then he would have came in and then been like, you know, somebody's things are in there. And who knows if we were at one of the services, if we would have got back and our things would have been thrown out because they marked us as we didn't show. I don't know. But when I get home, I am going to write a strongly worded letter to whoever I need to because that could have ended very differently. That was all on them. That was their fault. Alright, you guys. I am showered and all clean. Put some body spray on. exclamation yeah and I'm gonna go grab breakfast and then continue packing and then we're gonna go home y'all yep we're gonna go home because I'm tired my feet hurt I'm tired I want my bed I want my pillow
elevators, which one shall open? for everybody to have this great salvation. He said, whosoever will, let them come. He is no respecter of persons. It don't matter who you are. It don't matter where you came from. And let me just say it, it still don't matter if you're black, white, yellow, brown. The door is open for everybody. Somebody help me right now. The church still does not discriminate compel them to come in that my house may be filled this compel it literally means by any means necessary get them to the party pull them to the party drag them to the party put them on your shoulder carry them to the party even go to the highways even go into the hedges. God didn't send us to qualify them. He sent the. He sent us to bring them because.